Welcome back. In this video we're going to look at creating a top-down grass. Now if you've uh, gone through the 2D art for non-programmers you've seen a way to do a kind of stylized grass and you can certainly um, make adjustments to that to make it look a little more realistic but in the end it's always going to have a little bit of a stylized look to it. Now this is a little bit more of a realistic looking grass. Uh, like I said, it's great for top down stuff. It's not going to be super great for a lot of other things, but it is a great thing to have in your library and you can mix and match it with other stuff to come up with some pretty good looks. All right, so let's get started. I've got a 1024 by 1024 document, the transparent background. For the, in this case, white would be fine too if that's what your preset's at. I have a green color of 2B, 6E, 2B. But anywhere in there, I mean, this, this is kind of a thing to taste, and it's something that you can you know, make multiples of or make adjustments to however you like. Um, you know, you could be in a yellowish brown doing a kind of dead grass look. So play with that as you like. Try a few different styles, come up with a few different ones. For now, we're going to do this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and select my paint bucket. And I'm just going to fill this in. The nice even green. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add some noise to this. So I'll go up to Filter. Come down to Noise. Add Noise. And I want about 30%. I definitely want it on Gaussian. And I definitely want it on monochromatic. We don't want any colors hopping in there like you see there, the blues and reds. So that's just fine right there. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is blur it a little bit. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and one pixel. We don't want very much blur on this. We just want it to go from a really sharp relief to looking kind of rough. So we're okay there. All right, back to filters. This time we're going to come down to stylize and wind. And if you're doing this from default, it's going to default to wind. We want it on stagger. And we'll do from the right and hit OK. And you can see it's already kind of starting to get a cut grass look to it. All right, next we're going to repeat that. Well, we're going to repeat it, but the first thing we want to do is spin our canvas. So we're going to come over to Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees clockwise which gets this kind of going up. Then we're going to go back to filter, down to stylize. Now we could use control F, but it's going to exactly repeat what we did before and we don't want to do that. Back to wind again, still on stagger. This time we're going to do from the left. Click OK. And there we go. All right. Back to image, image rotation, and basically we're going to rotate it back the way it was, so 90 degrees counterclockwise. And we have a pretty good grass. Now, these filters are not some of the filters that tile, and depending on what you're using this for, you may want it to tile, and it certainly won't hurt if it does. So tiling it is something that we're going to do for our base texture and just have that prepped. If we look here and here, because of the wind settings, we can see we've kind of got this edge. And we want that to go away. So we're going to go up to Filter, down to Other, and Offset. And since it's a 1024 document, we're going to offset at 512 on both settings. And we're going to set this to Wraparound. Now, I guess if you want... Uh, grass tile floor you're pretty good to go but we don't want that we wanna we wanna get rid of this stuff so the first thing we're gonna do is come over to our clone stamp and that size might be a little small so we'll size up that brush a little that shouldn't be too bad 
And then from right next to it, we're going to hold down Alt, which will give us this little target. And we'll left click to get a sample. Then I'm going to put it right over that line. I'm going to hold down Shift so that it's perfectly straight. And then left click and just pull it down. Not too bad. Then we're going to repeat that going left to right. And we'll Alt to sample. And we want to resample because it's going to match where you start your line with where you sampled. So sampling right here, it's going to continue to sample right next to that all the way down. So we'll get right over that. Hold down Shift. Left click and hold and drag that across. Now we're pretty good. If you've got a really sharp eye, you can see that basically what we get is a little bit more blur. Now this would tile and it wouldn't look too bad, but I want to touch it up just a little bit more. So I'm come up to my spot healing. I'm going to grab my patch tool. And then I'm just going to grab areas. Not real big. And then I'm going to move them over to spots that we haven't messed with. Keep working our way around. You can be kind of random in where you pull it from. Until at some point we've grabbed all these areas. And then I'm going to look for spots that are a little hinky, like we have a really dark spot up here that I don't care for. So I'm going to get rid of that and we have it happening again over here a little bit and we're going to want to try and work the area we're grabbing down a little bit in size and that'll help with some of that artifacting hit control D to deselect and this looks pretty good so let's test our theory I'm going to create a new document I'm going to double the size 2048 by 2048. I'm going to grab this, Control A, Control C to copy, and Control V. Grab my move tool, move this down to a corner, make sure that's snapped in. I'm going to hit Control J to copy that layer, and I'll hold Shift when I slide it up so that it's perfect. Then Control E to combine those down. And I'm going to repeat, Control J, drag it over, holding Shift, and Control E. Now we have a 2048 texture of grass that tiles very nicely. And if we close in on this, Control plus a little bit, you can see that up close it's got some pretty good definition. It does look very grass-like. All right. That should cover us for making our base grass texture. I'll see you guys next time.